Hi, and welcome to this demonstration of the Alpha plugin for Eclipse, a new way to write authorization policies in XACML without having to use the XML representation. To start off, I will unzip Eclipse. It's going to take a couple seconds. I'm going to unzip my Alpha plugin that I downloaded from the Axiomatics website. Now I've got the Alpha plugin, which contains the um, zip update site that I'll be using for Eclipse and also have my Eclipse folder here that I can run directly. So this is a, a brand new fresh Eclipse that I downloaded from the Eclipse website. I'm using the J2E Indigo version. Okay, it asks me where I want to use the workspace. I'll use the one here on the desktop. So now what I'm going to do is I'll go to help install new software. So the very first step is to check, of course, the installation guide. And the installation guide mentions that you have to define another update site for a feature called xText. So what I'm going to do is copy the value of the URL provided in the guide, go to Eclipse, add a new update site, call it xText, paste the value I just copied, and um, I don't have to wait for the operation to finish. I can go ahead and add a new update site and call it alpha and point it to an archive within the alpha folder, alpha update site, click on OK. And now you can see that automatically it's displayed um, the Alpha plugin for Eclipse. We're going to choose this. We're going to click on Next, and it's going to figure out the requirements and the dependencies, including the downloads from the XTEX repository that we defined in the previous step. So I want to install this. I can go ahead and click on Next. You have to agree to the Axiomatics and the Eclipse licenses. Click on Finish. When you have the warning about unsigned content, just click on OK and Continue let Eclipse access um, the internet and restart Eclipse to uh, apply the changes. Choose the same workspace as before, click OK. Now that the plugin is installed, let's go ahead and create a new general project. Let's call it my first alpha project and click on finish. All we need to do now is create a source folder, create another folder called requirements. Inside, it will add a new text file called requirements.txt and I will start writing what my scenario will be. In this case, it will be a medical scenario and the first policy will be doctors can view medical records. Let's go ahead now and import the system files for alpha that are within the zip file that came in the alpha release. These are the standard attributes and the system.alpha files. We can simply drag and drop them inside source and choose the copy mode of Eclipse. So if we expand the source folder, we now have standard attributes and system.alpha. Standard attributes define attributes that already exist within the ZACMOL specifications such as subject ID, resource ID, and so on. System.alpha defines um, shorthand notations for combining algorithms and other parts of the ZACMOL specification. Within the source folder, I can go ahead and create my first policy. I will call it medical.alpha. In doing so, by the way, the project will notice that it does not have the xText nature and yet .alpha files need it. So you can go ahead and click yes when you are prompted to add it to your project. Inside the medical.alpha file, you can go ahead and create a namespace. All policies live within a namespace, and you need to give your namespace a name, so namespace medical. Inside the namespace, you can go ahead and create a policy, and let's call it uh, medical record access. And inside here, we could define a target. And of course, we said uh, in my requirements that doctors can access medical records. So here, what I'm going to define is a resource type. So that, let's add a clause to my target and then start writing resource type. Notice that uh, when I'm trying to complete, it cannot autocomplete. And that's because before I can use attributes, I need to define the attribute. So let's go ahead and write this and then Let's write an apply and we're going to say deny overrides. That explains how rules will be combined. And then let's go ahead and add um, rule, rule, um, permit doctors. And this rule permit doctors will contain a permit. You do not need curly braces around the rules. You can simply have the rule as is. 
Still, the policy is complaining when you hover over it, and we can see that it cannot resolve the reference to attribute resource type. So there's two things we need to do. First of all, we need to import the standard attributes definition. So you do it as follows, attribute.star, and the name here comes from the namespace name defined within standard dash attributes. So here you can see namespace attributes. Um, it still cannot find resource type, so let's see what other um, attributes it has for resources. It does not have any for resource type, so we're going to create one ourselves. If we go to standard attributes and we look for resource, we're going to copy the attribute resource ID and name it resource type, give it a unique ID, for instance, resource type. Um, we could give it a type and a category, we'll leave it to what it was before, i.e. a string and uh, the resource category. If I go back to my medical.alpha, notice now that the error has gone away, I can go ahead and create target clause resource type equals medical record. Now, my rule is incomplete because so far we're yielding a permit if the resource type is medical record, but of course we also want to say that it's only for viewing and it's only for doctors. So let's say that the user type is equal to doctor and the action ID, which it knows already, is equal to view. So we need to define what a user type is. Let's do that again here. We're going to go back all the way up. We're going to copy subject ID and call it user type. Let's give it a simple attribute name, user type. If we go back to the medical policy. It is now a valid, complete policy. And what it says is if the resource type is medical record and the person trying to access the medical record is a doctor and the action that the person wants to do is view, then permit. Notice at the same time that on the left hand side, a new folder called source-gen was generated. If I expand it, I can go ahead and view that there's an XML file. I can double click on the file. I can have the design view, uh, which is the Eclipse representation of XML. Um, we can notice that there is a policy with a target and that that policy contains a single rule and that rule contains a target as well and in effect where the value is permit. We could of course look at the raw representation and you would notice that this corresponds to what we generated in alpha. One of the neat things that I like in alpha is that you can very easily add um, descriptions. For instance, this policy is about medical records. If I do this, it is automatically reflected here in the description field of this actual policy. Now let's do a little more advanced scenario here. Uh, we can say that a doctor can view a medical record, uh, but let's go ahead and rename that rule to permit view doctors and create a new rule called permit edit doctors. And the target clause is going to be similar, so I can go ahead and copy that. The effect will be permit, the action value will be edit, and we're going to add a condition. And the condition will be that subject ID, the doctor in other words, must be equal to um, uh, the ID of the doctor assigned to the patient. So let's call it assigned doctor ID. And of course it's complaining that it doesn't know this attribute so we could go ahead and uh, look for our resource ID again copy that over, call it assigned doctor ID assigned doctor ID. If I go back to medical.alpha, notice that it's not complaining anymore. And now we've written, as a matter of fact, two very simple rules inside a policy. The policy is about medical records and it's, was, it was written in a very small set of lines. There's about 20 lines here. We could actually enable that line number, uh, show line numbers. We have 19 lines of code to generate a ZACMO file, which actually contains 107 lines of code. This is the new feature of the Alpha plugin. It is a free plugin. You can download it from the Axiomatics website. Thanks for watching.